Welcome to SmashingBloke.com. Here at Smashing Bloke, we're in love with cryptocurrency and all of that good stuff. So what's going on today? 16th of August, 2018. Well, the markets are looking a lot better right now. I mean, um, the last few days have been pretty awful. I mean, the last few weeks, I mean, the year has been pretty dire. We've been hammered all year. It's very hard to believe we started off 2018 with almost $800 billion market cap. Look at where we are today. People keep on coming up to me and saying, smashing blocks, smashing blocks. You know, look at what's going on with the market. Are you still confident? Smashing Block believes in the blockchain. The blockchain's here. It's not going anywhere. The blockchain has given us the ability to overcome double spend. It's given us immutability of data. It gives us increased security of data. It gives us reduced transaction fees. It brings us smart contract capabilities and so on and so forth. The, black, the, the, the blockchain isn't going anywhere. Smashing Block is as confident as he ever was and as positive as he ever was about the blockchain and this space. Okay, this morning, Smashing Block wants to talk to you about Qterm. Qterm is a blockchain with smart contracts and capabilities. You have a specific focus on secure transactions. But before I do that, let's take a quick look at the market and see where we are at this point in time. Okay. 16th of August 2018, time check 11.08 a.m. Market cap currently standing at $207 billion. We have a 24 hour trade volume of $13 billion. Bitcoin is currently trading at $6,413. We have a market dominance of 53.3%. Best performer in the last 24 hours has been VeChain up 31.7% and is now trading at one cent. Okay, let's talk about Qterm. So why Qterm? Qterm has the ability to execute smart contracts similar to the Ethereum blockchain, but Qterm is focused more on business applications and secure transactions. Transactions on Qterm are similar to transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. So you could say in a certain sense that Qterm is a hybrid between Bitcoin and Ethereum. So how do they do this? Qterm uses Bitcoin's UTXO model on spent transactions outputs, which is currently bulletproof. The Qterm blockchain, which is a Bitcoin fork, is SegWit enabled. Qtum uses the Ethereum virtual machine, but it has disentangled this from the blockchain using its account abstract layer. The account abstract layer, the AAL, will easily allow Qtum to change the virtual machine should a better one come along, like the planned Qtum x86 virtual machine. Qtum uses proof of stake. Qtum created the DGP, Decentralized Governance Protocol. This allows more users to vote as regards network upgrades and it also helps the network prevent hard forks. So who's working on this? Who's working on this? Let's have a look. It's a pretty tight team. Smashing Block is very comfortable with this team. Um, do some research on your own, find out who's who in this team. Have a look at Patrick. Patrick's a pretty strong player here. When do we see all this good stuff? Well, Qtum are working on their x86 virtual, virtual machine. This is meant to come out at some point in 2018. Um, there are some other things happening. Take a look, do some research of your own. How does Smashing Block feel about Qterm? Well, Smashing Block thinks that Qterm have come into a very competitive space. There are established players in this space like Ethereum, there's NEO. We also have players like EOS coming up and Tron and various others, but it's a big space and um, let's see. I think Smashing Block thinks because the team is quite strong and because they're this hybrid model between Ethereum and Bitcoin, it does make the Qtum blockchain stand out a bit. 
um, smashing block will keep an eye on Q term so yeah I think at this point it's a keep an eye watch and see but yeah yeah smashing block out if you like what smashing block does give us some likes and subscribe smashing block peace